Hi folks, Jason Clemens here from Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. Today we're taking a look at our 2015 Boston Whaler 170 Montauk. The, probably the most popular whaler ever sold. I've been building this model forever. They retooled it in 03 or 04. Extremely popular boat. This one's sitting on the factory galvanized caravan trailer. Does have swing tongue. We put the new split bow rail on this boat. That's a great feature to have for getting in and out of the water uh, off on a beach uh, or on a dock. And one of the greatest features for me, I like to launch boats by myself. You can jump right up through here to get on and off the boat. It makes it really easy. This is all welded, bolted on rail. So as you can see, I'm, I can crank on that. You can put all the weight you want on that and be able to pull yourself right up off of the uh, trailer. Makes it real nice. Black graphics on the boat. You can get black, blue, or red. We have the stainless sun top with boot. As with all the factory whaler tops, you've got the nice Teflon uh, coated ball joint mounts. You don't hear anything when you're shaking it. There are straps to keep that in place from wobbling back and forth as well. And then there is a slider track on the 17 Montauk so you can lay the top down in the back of the boat. Got your tall rail in the back. Good way to have a small boat on the water but still have some protection. You got nice rails and again those rails are really sturdy. You can even mount rod holders to those and troll off them. They're very, very sturdy. It's stainless all welded rail. As you can see there, twin six and a half gallon fuel tanks. <clears throat> it's got a 90 horse command thrust, four stroke mercury. Does not burn much fuel at all. This boat is somewhere in the three gallon an hour range depending on how hard you run the boat. Uh, that's at cruise speed and it'll get well over 40, somewhere in the 44, 45 mile an hour range. It gets there very quick. Get you a shot out of the starboard side here. Let me hop up in the boat. One of the big pluses to a Montauk is all the floor space. It's got the narrower gunnels. You can see tons and tons of space. For a 17 footer you have lots of room. You've got your anchor locker in the front that's on a little grommet so you don't hear it when you're out running. It's got this nice little rubber grommet so when you're, you're out two or three footers it's not smacking around and making any noise. It locks down nice and tight. We put the fishing package on our Montauks. It comes with the cooler seat with the uh, rod holders on the backrest. It's very comfortable to sit at and it also gives you your tackle drawers on the starboard side. You do have a spot for your fire extinguisher as well. Coming around to the helm station, as you can see you've got a tachometer, voltmeter, and water pressure gauge, your horn, bilge pump, uh, stereo if you decide to put one on, an accessory tab, you do have a 12 volt receptacle. As with the rest of the whalers, uh, your stern light is actually in your console. There's a spot to go through the bimini top for that. Four position leaning post seat here, just like all the other smaller whalers. You can leave it like this to sit down or pop it up like this to use it as a leaning post, which is a great feature. Again, tons of room in the back of the boat. And your bilge here, that's where your bilge pump is. And your drain plug, you could leave the drain plug out and hardly even notice in this boat being that it's an unsinkable legend, but you still want to have that in for the most part. And it does also have a council cover that snaps down by the floor there and a seat cover. So if you don't want to have a bunch of uh, boat to maintain it's great for that you just put those little covers on you don't need to put anything major on saves you a lot of time and the boat can handle being out in the weather there's a good shot of it from here if you guys have any more questions on the boat give us a call at 419-684-5365 or you can check us out at clemensboats.com and while you're there don't forget to like us on facebook thanks guys